Today we're talking about the TRX4M and what I've done to it. I have actually given Traxxas a little bit of money since buying this thing, but it's not for what you'd think. Let me tell you all about it and why, although this thing has an Achilles heel, I like this thing so very much. Let's do it. I bought my TRX 4M some time ago, and it's only been recently that uh, Traxxas learned a little lesson with their approach to uh, parts. You guys all know the story. After I bought the car itself, nothing else on here has been a Traxxas purchase. Now, since the original purchase, I've upgraded this quite a bit, but nothing about it has been Traxxas. Uh, you may recall even from my original video, even my battery got the Craig treatment. Uh, that's where we converted the three plug, which is the three balance leads, into a regular XT30 and a balance lead. So I can just use a regular charger to charge and discharge, and in particular, put my battery on storage. So that's what I've done. That's the other part of the magic for the battery, actually. So it's got a balance lead and the original battery plug that went into here. And now it can take any 2S battery via the balance lead. Big brain time. Now the rest of it, here's a quick rundown of the mods because I think they're useful. And I tell a lie, I have given Traxxas some money for one little thing. This piece here is not held in with screws or glue, it's held in purely with friction. And it comes out pretty easily. This is a design shortcoming. Uh, I dropped this the other week and this side went flying. It's held in with a couple of pieces underneath and uh, a couple of points on top. Now, I couldn't, for the life of me, I couldn't find this piece. I didn't know where it went and the car just didn't look the same without it. Since I'm out in this very beautiful area, I've actually had the FCX24 out filming as well while we're looking at the uh, TRX 4M. Now, on the FCX24 video, I said uh, it had some real trouble ascending and descending. That shorter wheelbase was working against it. One thing that the TRX 4M enjoys is a slightly longer wheelbase, and also with its kind of hybrid hard body, soft body, there's less weight. It's just a lighter machine, so it's actually a lot more refined in ascents and descents. So it keeps its wheels planted better than the 24, just on account of that length. But also remember, we've stuck a bit of weight under this thing, and so I thought I might, ay ay ay. Let's get down here. And <laughs> the rain's coming in now. I thought I might try and uh, do some of the same driving we just did, but with the now considerably heavier Terex 4M. Right, cockies. All right, here's the Terex 4M. Now being a lot heavier, it's a lot happier in the tough stuff. Now it doesn't have a second speed, and I used a second speed with the FCX24 just now. But it also is therefore lacking complexity. So it's a pro or a con. I think I'd like a two speed in this thing, but it's pretty nice. So I gave Trax a 17 US dollars just for this piece of plastic. It, it was the whole exo cage roof rack thing. But it was just so I could get that small rectangle. I could buy quite a lot for 17 US dollars that was a lot nicer than that little rectangle and that I didn't enjoy that, I must admit. Let me show you what I've done top to bottom because I like my car even more now. Uh, this is an unused uh, SCX24 wheel and tire. Doesn't weigh almost anything, so it's perfect for up there. And there's just a little scale rope. I haven't put anything else up there. Everything else is just stock. This is a beautiful, beautiful body and I'm just gonna leave it like that. Underneath though, we've got the Yeah Run uh, fender covers and for the price of this car, I don't know. I mean, I think these were slightly less expensive than this little rectangle here. Sorry, Traxxas, I'm not making any friends with you today, am I? 
Um, I've left the stock wheels and tires because I like these tires. I think they're very nice. I, I'm going to keep them on. I have tried bigger and different tires, but these are really, really good. So they're going to stay. I'm going to also stick a higher turn motor on uh, eventually, or a faster motor, maybe a lower turn. I don't know. I might change the motor. At this point, I'm in the experimenting stage. Uh, because I still can't get them in Australia, Scott from USA, thank you, Scott, has sent me some low speed gears for this thing with a $5 US price tag on it from a hobby shop. Uh, the cheapest I could get those gears was nearly $50 here in Australia. <laughs> Let that sink in. So, uh, Scott, thank you for sending me those gears. So they're in now. Uh, and I've also left the shocks. So the shocks and the wheels are the same. I'm using the stock battery, but I can use any 2S battery. Underneath though, things are obviously a little different. We've got brass, Endura, portal covers. We've got uh, stainless steel bent links front and rear. We've got the stainless steel Endura drive shafts. So this looks really nice now and it weighs quite a lot more. We've also got the uh, brass C-hubs and brass knuckles. So we've got weight where you want it and the top stays pretty light. I mean, it's not a super light body. Oh, and we've got the Endura light kit too. And that was a real snap to install. So I'm actually quite happy with this thing. And the only thing really that's missing is a two-speed transmission because you can go nice and fast with this, you can go a walking pace with it, or you can go really slow. But for each of those three things, you've got to stop, get a screwdriver out, and pull everything apart and change the gears. Why? It's 2023. We've got two-speed. I'm about to review the FMS. I've got a couple of them here in the drawer. They're great. They've got two-speed. They work just great. So if this thing had a two-speed, this would be my truck of choice. I really, really like this thing. I didn't think it would recover that. The added weight is really helping on some of these problems. It previously would have uh, rolled a bunch. It's so planted. I must say this is very satisfying to drive. Oh, the rain's coming down now. Should have brought me raincoat. Oh, this is. So I just thought I'd show you anyway. That's my little uh, upgrade summary for the T-Word TRX4M. 
and I'm really happy with it. Enjora is amazing. I've been buying Enjora through AliExpress. I don't actually use Amazon except for Kindle books. Uh, I understand in the USA that's a big thing, so I'm sure you can buy Enjora from there, but otherwise AliExpress for me uh, is great for Enjora, the actual Enjora official store. Shipping's fast, service is good, and hey, I get a really nice little car out of it. And you know, I didn't have to spend an arm and a leg just to make it like this. In future, I may look at putting a winch in just for fun. I may look at 3D printing a lightweight little interior for it. I do wish it had a two-speed transmission. I suppose I could stick a brushless motor in there. You could do that. That gives you the high speed and the low speed. I might look into doing that, but honestly, it's pretty nice as it is. So I'm just going to drive it now. You've been enjoying some running footage here. It's a rainy day. There's water everywhere. There's mud everywhere. I mean, what better place is there to enjoy a little T-Rex for like this? So that's what I'm all about with this little thing. Throw me a like if you got something out of my little update summary. Be careful if you have one of these, don't drop it, don't lose the little side panels because they're easy to lose. Uh, be aware that you can replace them if you want. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you next time on RCTNT. Cheers.